Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you for watching, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, today, what I have for you guys is I've previously done a video on how to use FS, FSC generator and USB along with uh, 2019 or 2018 map and updating your uh, maps on your BMW. Um, that video wasn't so clear about how to generate the FSC. So today what I'm doing is I'm using the ENET cable uh, with the OBD adapter, um, a Windows laptop and generating using the EDI ABS software to generate my FSC code, save it to the file and then either you can get a one-time uh, code or a lifetime so you don't have to do it and you can do map updates. Uh, what you do need is a Windows laptop. If you do this on a MacBook, make sure you have Windows installed. Uh, once you have the Windows installed um, as your uh, a VMware or VMware work machine, um, you can connect it and you have to open up your VPN tunneling and you can connect to your car using the Enet cable and then go from there. Um, this I will link all the steps down below in the video. Uh, basically, there are two. I'm going to show you if as EDI ABS was already installed on my computer. Uh, if it wasn't, then you have the steps below uh, how to install it. Um, and then once you have it installed, make sure it's configured. And once it's configured, then you can launch it and go from there. So let me get these cables installed, boot up my PC, get it all set up, and then I'll show you the process. Okay guys, so I have plugged in my Ethernet cable, which is attached to my USB adapter. I have the, my PC up and running. Uh, what I ended up doing is I ended up deleting the Edibus software, EDI ABS configurator. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through and reinstall it so you guys can watch um, how it's done. And I do apologize for some lighting and then also for some camera shaking because I'm trying to do this myself while I walk through the steps. So my apologies. So what you want to do is, um, I was given this software so I'm going to run it, but if you have access, you can search it for Google or check one of the BMW forms. You will find um, the BM BMW FSC generator or you can look for um, Edibus EDI ABS configurator uh, 2.0 and so forth. So what I've done is followed directions and pretty much made my own, um, copied over the tutorial. And this is for a new one. I color coded it so it's a little easier to see on the video as well. So very first thing I wanna do is I have this uh, Navi. This is what I have used for my other videos where I updated my car to 2018 maps. So I didn't start my car, my trickle charger is plugged in and what I'm doing is I have it on the accessory mode. I'm gonna see, do, try to use that while I do this. So very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this patch, um, Edibus 7.3.0 and I am going to install it. If it asks you to install it as administrator, just go ahead and do that. Um, I might run into some issues because like I said, I did do it earlier and I tried to cheat it and did not reboot uh, my system. So let's see what happens. It's fairly quick. It shouldn't take that long. So we'll see what happens. Completed, finish. So what I've done is click on install. I did this. Now I'm going to open up this configurator. Um, so let's open this bad boy up, which is right above here. And what you want to do in here, make sure this is selected to C drive, but on down here, uh, you want to select Enet, but don't select this one. Uh, what you want to do is select the second Enet down in the list, which is this one. Once you do this, you will notice that your diagnostic port and your control port is set to 6811 and your diagnostic is 6801, just like it mentions in the step two uh, on the left hand side. And what I'll do is I'll list all these um, directions and steps um, in the post on below too. And then what it asks you to do is you have to go into this folder. Um, so once you do this, you can leave the configurator alone. Then you go into this folder 
And anything that exists in here, you want to copy it over to the Eddie Ibas folder that it creates. So it happens to be that I already have it in here, um, but I'm still going to go in there and copy it since I'm following along the steps. So go in here, everything. Okay, so it tells me to copy everything in this ECU folder. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do Control A. And I want to do Control C, copy. Let's come in here, Control V. And it's copying over the items right now. Um, I didn't expect it to take this long, but okay. I believe mine are same. You would have to copy the first time you do it because you will not have this folder created because this is part of the FSC generator. So for the video purposes, I apologize, but I'm going to go ahead and redo the and keep um, playing it on here and do it. Okay, so basically my copying finish, I return to the other folder and what I'm going to do now is in step um, 5A and 5B basically, I've already done the 5, uh, 5 itself and then A it checks for either CIC or NBT since I know mine is NBT. Uh, I'm going to go in this I1B and DEFSE file reader and then go into NBT FSE file reader and double click it. Once I do that, it launches this BMW tool. I click on F series since this is a 2014 F15. So I'm using an F series. If you have another 3 series, 4 series, 5 series, X1, X2, X3, X4, X6, uh, between I would say 2011 and 2016, you should be able to use any of these tool. Um, you should be able to use these tool, this tool for any of those cars. Uh, so I'm going to click on connect and it should say OK. And next I'm going to click on read VIN because if you pay attention on the steps below it's telling you to do that. Basically hit connect then you read VIN it should return you a 319 byte string. You can copy it or save it depending on how you want to do it. I'm going to click on read VIN. It reads it. Read FSC and it reads us something long. I want to save it to a file. It's saved. Then I'm going to go into the folder BMW FSC generator underscore one underscore zero underscore X. So I want to go back out to my folder. And then I want to click on BMW FSC generator. Once I do that, I need to locate my file. Um, which I should have one here. So I want to click on open. I want to load that file regarding my VIN. It's going to give me all the maps that I can have access to. Obviously, I'm located in North America. So what, what I would want to do is look for a road, uh, North America road map. Um, I believe when I checked mine, I have a 2018 North America Next in here, so North America, I should say. Yeah, so I have one of, I believe I have either this one or this, no, I think I have this one. And I never updated to 2019, so what I'm waiting to do this is when the 2020 comes out, I believe which is out now, I will probably patch my uh, Navi map to that. But in order to do that, you need either one time or a lifetime code. Um, so what I want to do is I want to click on lifetime and then I want to click on generate. Uh, once I click on generate, you will notice that it gives me this code I can copy to clipboard. Once you copy to clipboard, you are essentially done. Now what you need to do is um, take your map that you downloaded from online and put in a USB drive on the root uh, menu. Not Don't put it in different folders. 
put it off of the root and then once you do that you can plug it into your center console in the armrest the usb drive whether it's any of the f-series car or suv and then you let it update through your map updates on your navi and once you do that um, it should ask you for the fsc lifetime generator uh, fsc code whether you use a lifetime one or one time use um, and you can put that in once you put that in um, it will automatically start doing the update and update usually takes anywhere from 15 minutes to about half an hour to an hour so be patient make sure your car is running if not running then put on trickle charge when you're running the update if you have any questions um, i will link my other video which talks about updating the map as well with this and then put your questions on below and i'll be happy to answer them thank you for watching guys stay tuned